Like, it's no, not like, just Target. It's Imagine everywhere. Imagine being this guy. I want there to be a video about this guy. Because he has done something very legendary. He has fucked up in such a way that literally everyone is paid for it. Yeah. I also He's the heard... one kid that fucking gets recess cancelled for the rest of the class. Yeah. I, I like... had also heard that one of the factories that was making the cards uh, had to shut down for COVID. Yeah, that... A lot of factories, you know, obviously there are going to be shortages because global pandemics. Mm -hmm. uh, but, oh, by the way, they are still selling some cards at Walmarts, depending on what region you're at, because I have a funny story about that. I was at Walmart during the evacuation getting groceries before I came back, and I ended up in the toy aisle because I'm me. Um, and I noticed, like, there was this box of Pokemon cards. I was like, oh, shit, that's cool. And then I noticed, like, some cards next to it, like, spread out. I was like, the fuck? So this guy took one of those, like, Ow. trainer sets, you know, like, one of those big boxes you can get uh, with yeah. a bunch of different cards and the stuff to actually play the Pokemon trading card game that no one knows how to play. So uh, they had apparently just taken it, ripped it off in half, like, and just sort root looted through all the cards to try and find mm. rare ones. So it was just No, that's been happening weird. a lot, too. No, no, that's been happening a lot, too. And there's yeah. even a scam at, what is it? There's a scam, and they're what these people are doing are they're buying box sets, and what they'll do and is they'll, like, they'll like take out the rares, them, open take them, take out the good okay. ones, okay, and then fucking just stuff the shitty ones in. What were you saying? Yeah, no. What they do is they will take out all the rare ones, replace it with typically a bunch of commons or worthless ones. Then they'll with usually with super glue reseal it, and then just apply for a refund wherein they return the product. But they've walked away with basically all the all the money and anything that was worthwhile in it. And what you get in return is someone who buys what they think is a new set and what Amazon thought was a new set, but is actually a resealed oh. scam, basically. Yeah. Hmm. It's just magic cards have been doing have been having that happen to them. <laughs> My whole thing oh, when it nice. comes to like trading cards and shit like that, like scalping that shit. I don't give a shit most of the time, but like these are things for kids, man. They just want to have some fucking trading cards. And in a year after, like, things have sucked so much ass. You know, if your favorite thing is, you know, collecting Pokemon trading cards, and it's you now can't buy you. any Pokemon trading cards because fucking asshole adults wanted to make money off of them, that fucking blows, and you're a piece of shit. This is what yeah. this is referring to what Solar said same earlier. Same about... thing if you're a yeah no same thing if you're a fucking gamer and you want to get the latest fucking console and you can't do that because some fucking dickhead went and bought them all and now he's selling them for fucking two k a pop. Hmm. Yeah, that was like I want fucking PS5 because I never owned a PS4. I was really excited about that, but I'm like I don't <laughs> care anymore. I mean, I mean honestly, yeah, PS5 is one of the ones I was considering getting just. Mainly for Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah that's, dude, that's the reason I want it. Is Spider-Man? Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Unless for and never you can God play Halo Lord. on PC. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, Which, for, like yeah. you can play Forza yeah. and Halo on PC, so it's just kind of like I'll just keep my that's PC. A good question. When yeah. does Forza come out? By the way, I don't know when it comes out, but I but if I get the graphics card updated, I'm probably gonna get Horizon Five. Oh, I want to play Horizon 5 with you. Absolutely. Yes, I do too. Let's be idiots driving around Mexico. November 5th. <laughs> November 5th. <laughs> no, I'm gonna... no, I'm going to make the Baja Boru, which is uh, a Subaru, but I want to see if I can do a Baja 500. And let's do it on simulation difficulty, oh, just to fuck make sure. You. No, no, here's the thing. The Baja 500 is the most famous race in all of Mexico. It is also one of the hardest on any race's hardware. They because... also make pretty good Mountain Dew. <laughs> it, it also literally just means South California. Baja, Baja <laughs> California, literally. Baja yeah. California, yes. Um, it's funny. But yeah, so, what is it? Uh, but the thing about it is, it's one of the hardest races to actually do, specifically because of, you know, you are bouncing around. You need, like, the world's best, like, suspension for this, because you're not only off-roading, you're off-roading at 100 miles an hour or faster, so you're gonna hit bumps really fucking fast, and you're in like a two-ton racing machine, so it's gonna have a lot of force. Two-ton coffin on wheels. However, I should point out, something that was so impressive all, like, a lot of the car channels, like, fucking blew up about it, someone went to a Ford dealership, bought a stock Ford Raptor, entered in the Baja 500, won, and didn't break down a single time. 
and just in like a, no mod, no modifications at all. No, it was a street stock. stock, street stock, no miles for uh, Raptor. No, you know you what you need to test that that shit. You, you need to what? run. You need to run Crisis on it. Jesus. I thought you were gonna give the New Hampshire answer of a '93 Subaru previously owned by a happy lesbian couple. Jesus that, Christ! That is the New Hampshire answer. Like, how many fucking Subarus are in like New England in total? I wonder. I want to point out, like, okay, so there's a, a bit of a car hierarchy. If you're just a, a normal family person in New Hampshire, you probably drive a Honda CRV. Those are pretty common. Yeah. Notice all-wheel drive is kind of a theme here, winter because winter and mountains. Yeah. Uh, what is it? If you're into racing or you're young, you're probably driving a Subaru. In fact, if you're into racing, you're driving a WRX at least, just to keep competitive in the snow, and to give the cops a hard time in the snow. And to be fast when it's not snowy either, because they're pretty fucking fast. Um, but uh, recently, it. apparently, Volvo has overtaken everything. In fact, it is the only... We are the only... Uh, not we. New Hampshire's the only state where um, Volvo is the top-selling vehicle. Because they're all-wheel drive, pretty fancy, and let's be real, Volvo actually does look nice on the New Hampshire landscape. It's kind of it's kind of got that slightly Scandinavian look to it. The okay. way you said we implied that you were some kind of Volvo representative. <laughs> no, I meant like as a resident of New Hampshire, but I'm just like, okay, New Hampshire, technically, yes, my home state. I'm just not there right now. I'm in Texas oh. right now. So, um, I've just decided to look at the uh, spec sheet for Horizon 5. Apparently, the game is 96 gigs big. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Not surprised. Me. It's yeah. the biggest map. It's the biggest well, Horizon map. It, but fun fact, it's only half a gig bigger than Horizon 4. Which, granted, really? I'm looking at the premium edition, which is like the big $100 version yeah. of each of them. Which, I'm going to admit, I will be the, I will be the slime who buys that probably because... I like having all my shit, and I never have to buy anything else for the game again. It makes no, my life it, easy. It works until you find that one car that you're really enthusiastic about, and it's in, like, ah. the third DLC pack or some yeah. shit. Well, the, the idea of the premium version is that you get all the DLC packs included with it yeah. when they come out. So right. I might as well just buy the whole, like, $100 one, knowing that I'm going to play this game, you know, 400 hours again. Yeah, the, but one thing I do want them to do is I was disappointed with this with 4. I need to actually start playing 4 or at least Damn see it. if my PC can play it without it exploding. Um, exploding. No, no PC explode. Um, Adorable. But what is it? Uh, one thing I didn't like is that uh, you were kind of, not kind of, you were definitely correct, Robin, when you said, oh, the Mark II, yeah, here's my GT fanboyism coming back again. It's like, Oh yeah, the Mark II is a special vehicle. You have to win it for special reasons. I'm like, that is horseshit. Yeah. <laughs> like it is. That's one of the most popular and legendary cars to or and part of one of the most legendary races in the history of motor racing, and you've made it like hyper exclusive. So what happened with it was that Ford wasn't giving the license for to playground until like after the game had already shipped. So it was a whole mess with with four. So hopefully now with five that they have the license from the start. Yeah, like, like that means that the they got the new GT in it though, which is like yeah. okay, just bring in the Mark Two because the Mark One is like okay, it looks cool, but if anyone rem remembers history or just saw Ford versus Ferrari, which got this part right, they were unreliable as fuck. It you got wheel spin at 170 miles an hour, which is fucking horrifying. But yeah, like, uh, if you, by the way, chat, if you have a PC or an Xbox, buy Forza Horizon 4 right now. It is so fucking cheap. It's I, literally like the ultimate <coughs> edition is like, so the standard yeah, edition yeah. is 30 bucks um, with, and then like the, all the expansions is 20 bucks. So yeah. it's like a, it's about $50 and it's one of the best racing games ever made. It's fucking great. Yeah. Like. Also nice and arcadey. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. If, you, if you're like me and you're a goddamn idiot when it comes to like actual simulations, Forza is way more arcadey than Sim because I don't. Yeah, know how it's, to it's drive. meant to be. It's meant to be just Sim enough that to appeal to a car fan, but just arcadey enough that people can actually have fun with it without it being, without being a fucking sweat lord. 
Yeah, you can raise it up to sim difficulty, where if you really want to, you can rev your engine until it explodes, you can fade your brakes out, and you also can, um... Uh, damn, what else can you do? Um, you can, blow your own gear you can blow your own gearbox or drop your transmission, too. You can make it that accurate if you want to, or you can make it so you're flying 300 feet off of a hill, tumbling around in the Hunicorn. But the Hunicorn, just... by the way, is a hyper-modified 1965 Mustang with twin turbos that have to jut out the hood, so they named it the Hunicorn and said it had two... You more. fool! You thought I could be killed by gravity?! I'll stick with Mario Kart. I am a huge Mario Kart player, but Forza is the first, like, racing game that's not Mario Kart. I'm like, oh, this is fun. Because <laughs> it just is. It's really fun. I want to see you in, like, a Peel P50. But it is for you... the meme, for oh, the I, meme, I, I drop an my LS P50. into it. Drop an I... LS into the P50. It won't oh. fit, but it will be so fucking funny. When the I'm updating it right now because I haven't played in a little while. I might just pop in and just you know see what I upgraded my PLP50 to do, to have because I think it might be S rank Check. in my no, PLP50. No, it might be S rank. Check its engine because I'm curious. Like for the meme, can you drop an LS into the PLP50? Because that I is a meme. What happens though that's so funny with the peels, which if you've never seen a peel, it's one of the smallest cars in the world. It's fucking hilarious. Uh, you go on a server with the peel, and everybody kind of surrounds you and, like, drives super slowly with you. It's a fucking funny as shit. I, I love playing Forza. It's just, oh, it's so good. Anytime, like, I'm watching an E3 coverage and someone's like, oh, fucking Forza again, I'm like, fuck yeah, new game! Yeah. <laughs> or like fucking it. Legos! Can we get more stupid expansions this time? Like, they had Hot Wheels in Forza Horizon 3. I want Hot Wheels and Legos both. Can dude, we just put both of them? Dude, Can we just have, like, a Top Gear, or not Top Gear, Grand Tour-centered area? Because Jeremy, cause Jeremy, Richard, and James totally have no issue coming on video games, because they came on for Forza Motorsport 4. Yeah. Also, I want to collect all the Mustangs, especially... Dude, oh, ah. And everything ever breathed upon by Carol Shelby. Come the fuck on! Robin, are you also a hardcore fan of Kiss Kiss my I Can ass. I hear a word you're saying? Because the game is starting and the logos are very loud. Oh. <laughs> oh, right. Now I can hear you. It's okay. like a THX logo. Oh, it's right. so fu the fucking audience. Microsoft logo wow. is yeah. so very goddamn loud. Um, no, what I was saying was, uh... Errol something. What? Errol Shelby. Oh, That's yeah. Like... Are you also a fan of the great Carol Shelby? I do not know who you're talking about. If it was the... Isn't that the guy from Ford vs. Ferrari? Yeah, well, that is... He was a legendary cartooner from Texas, and yeah, he was the... Uh, he he's Christian Bale from... Uh, no, he's not Ford. Christian Bale. He was Matt Damon. Oh, yeah. Just Carol Matt Shelby. Matt Damon. Matt Damon.